up you guys good morning welcome back to my channel i feel like i haven't vlogged in a hot minute so it feels weird i haven't picked up the camera in a while <sighs> life you know um i don't really have an excuse besides i just haven't had a lot of creative juices flowing in me and i just didn't want to do a lot of like repetitive stuff but anyways <clears throat> Yeah, it's been a while since I've talked to you guys. Hopefully the lighting is not horrible. It's currently 8.42 a.m. and I am on my way to get my nails done because my nails are horrible. I booked it out four weeks just to see how I would like that length or like to see how my nails would last for that long and my nails just grow very fast so I think three weeks is gonna be the timeline for me to get my nails done because four weeks is just a little bit too much so made myself some coffee I'm trying to drink as much water as I can before I like drink a whole thing of coffee because normally I'll drink a whole water bottle of water before I drink my coffee but I haven't had the time to do that because I woke up like around 8 so I've been in a rush But I want to be as hydrated as I can before I drink my coffee. But I also don't want to drink a lot of liquids because when I'm getting my nails done, I always have to freaking pee and I'm there for like three hours all the time. Hopefully today goes by quicker because I'm going to be my nail tech's first client. And usually when I'm the first client, it goes by quicker because um, like whenever I get there and he has someone else, he's like either still doing designs or like something of that sort and i literally just get plain gel manicure anyways i'm just rambling but yeah i'm on my way to get my nails done i'm excited to film like a daily vlog for you guys i don't have too much planned for today but i just feel motivated to film and to talk to you guys and yeah just catch up and spend the day with you i am back from getting my nails done as you can see they're like a bright orange color like a neon kind of neon and it's not like crazy neon i don't even know what that means but anyways i just got back from getting my nails done and i have not had anything to eat i just had a piece of brownie because i made brownies last night so i just had a piece of that but it's 11 30 so technically i can still have breakfast food so i think i'm gonna make avocado toast on english muffins just because i haven't had avocado toast in a while and i don't want anything too heavy so i think that's what i'm gonna do Here is my breakfast. The egg is a little bit too big for the, what is it? The English muffin, but it's okay. I'll make it work that way. I kind of folded it a little bit. I don't know if you guys saw, but this is like my go-to avocado toast recipe. So if you have not tried it, make sure you guys do it super easy and simple. Literally, I just add um, garlic salt and uh, pepper to the avocado. And then, yeah, it's like the only real seasoning I do. Let's do a taste test. 
I like when my yolk is not super runny. Like it's middle. I'm gonna get ready for the gym now. I just need to pick out my gym outfit. And I'm hitting legs today. Honestly, I'm kind of dreading hitting legs. I always dread hitting legs. It's one of those workouts that like just takes all my energy. I'm gonna put on a cute gym fit and try to motivate myself, you know? I wasn't going to take pre-workout because I drink coffee and I'm trying to minimize the caffeine intake that I have on a daily basis, but I think I should drink some pre-workout because I think I need the energy today. These are the leggings I'm going to be wearing. They're like these forest green colored leggings. They're from the brand Aurola. I talked about these leggings in a few vlogs ago. It was my first time like ordering them and trying them. They're from Amazon and I wore them for the first time last week, I think. And I really, really like them. Like they're squat proof, they're stretchy, they're comfortable, they're super soft. And they're supposed to be dupes for the Alphily Amplify leggings. Like they're very similar to them or like almost a perfect dupe but for a fraction of the price so i'll link these down below for you guys if you are interested in them i haven't wore the shorts yet because i did get a pair of shorts as well and i was gonna wear them today but honestly i have to shave my legs and i don't feel like doing that right now so we're gonna go with the leggings but yeah i really like these i do plan on ordering more sometime soon i don't know when but they have a variety of like a bunch of different colors oh and also the other day i went to walmart to look for like um oversized tees for the gym like pump covers and i actually found a handful so let me show them to you guys they're literally still in the bag so i got this one it says rolling stones and it's an oversized fit. I got this one that says Joshua Tree. And this last one that says Grand Canyon, Arizona. And I'm from Arizona, so I felt like I had to get this one. But yeah, I got these um, specifically for the gym, like I said, for pump covers. And I got them all three in the size large so they can be oversized. And they were only $9.98 so super affordable of course they're not like a workout material where it's gonna like sweat resistant and stuff like that this is probably gonna get pretty like sweaty and like gross that's the only bad thing but i mean for the purpose of them i think they're cute and the price so maybe i should wear one of these with those leggings and have like a cute little gym fit okay so i went with the rolling stone shirt i know crazy i'm gonna fix my hair right now and as you can see it's definitely like super oversized but i'm gonna show you a quick little hack to make it look cuter and not like just like baggy um i'm sure you've seen this on the internet probably tiktok but if you haven't this is like such an easy trick to make it look cuter and then you can see like your cute little butt scrunch in the back so instead of the shirt just being like this what you're gonna do is you're just gonna tuck it into your sports bra kind of hard to do when I'm not by the mirror. Hold on. So I have it tucked in. You can definitely tuck it in like way more like that if you want. So you can kind of see some of like your back. But I don't mind it being a little bit loose. And that way you can see like your little logo in the back. And then you can actually see like the back of your leggings. So yeah, it's just a quick, quick little hug of just tucking in the shirt behind your sports bra i'm just gonna do a low pulled back slick bun because my hair is kind of greasy i don't know if you can tell so i'm gonna wash it today after the gym i usually like to wash my hairs on leg days because leg days is when i sweat the most it just gets really gross and sweaty so i'd rather wash it then but i do usually wash my hair every like four to five days and just survive off of dry shampoo okay so i'm gonna use a regular hair tie and then a scrunchie so i just kind of tuck it behind my ears pull it back and i'm just gonna grab this brush and i'm gonna wet it just Slick down the hair. So, I was supposed to hit legs yesterday, but 
I think I mentioned earlier how my boyfriend has been sick for the past few days and the last two days were like his worst days so I ended up staying home yesterday just to like make sure he was fine and all that and I essentially took a day off yesterday from the gym and like my walking goal and all that stuff because I mentioned to you guys as well in my last vlog my current fitness goals how I'm doing 12 3 30 like five to six times a week and then my goal is to get 10 k steps a day so that's what i've been doing but like i said yesterday i took the day off just to be home with my boyfriend make sure you know he's good taken care of and honestly sometimes i have to do this multiple times because i won't get it perfect on the first try like right now my hair is not staying okay this one's better And I do have like some hair sticking out of the bun, but that's totally fine. I have um, like long layers in my hair, so that happens all the time, but I don't mind. And then if I have like any hairs like this kind of sticking out on the side, I just go ahead and bobby pin them. But first, I'm just going to grab some of this. <sighs> Talking and doing my hair at the same time, it's not fun. I'm, like out of breath. This is really just going to sleek down everything and then as you can see like this part right here i don't know if you can but i'm just gonna bobby pin it down this side is fine i usually have one side or the other that literally has like hair lifted so i always have to bobby pin it down i'm just gonna like sleek down this part All right, and I'm pretty much ready for the gym. I'll show you guys the full gym fit right now. And these shirts, I don't know if I said it already or not, but I'll go ahead and try to link them for you if I find them on the Walmart website. If you guys haven't been on the app or the Walmart website, it's annoying. Like, it's really hard to find things on there, but I'll try to find it for you. Okay, here's a quick OOTD for the gym. The shirt that I showed you guys, the leggings, and I'm just wearing these flat bands always wear flat shoes for leg day let's go okay we just pulled up to the gym and i'm just gonna prep myself real quick so first things first always throw on some lip balm because i have dry ass lips oh fuck whoops it's about to be 2 p.m i usually never come to the gym this late but since i got my nails done early it takes up a lot of my time i had breakfast and all that so Okay, lip balm, check. And then gum, always. I parked far away because I don't want people to see me <laughs> filming. Gum, always when lifting weights. Gum, check. And <gasps> fuck. AirPods. I think I'm gonna be here for a while, like probably an hour, 30 minutes. Leg days always take me the longest. Legs usually takes me about an hour, but I'm gonna also do cardio afterwards. So that it's gonna be like 30 minutes. That's why I'm estimating that time. And I did end up making some pre, but I'm not gonna finish it because I already feel it like kicking in. And I like I said, I had coffee earlier, so I don't wanna be like super cracked out with this, but have that water bottle and we're ready to go
Okay, I just left. Oh, <laughs> I'm all over the place. I just left the gym and oh my god, I was there for an hour and 35 minutes. So my calculations were almost exact. I'm getting hungry. I need a protein shake. But I had a good workout. Um, I did not do 12 3 30 because leg day and 12 3 30 is just not a good mix. But I did walk for 30 minutes on the treadmill, just not on an incline. And next time I do cardio on leg day, I need to bring my like flexible shoes because walking with flat shoes is not it. Like my feet hurt right now, especially. My foot that I hurt when I was in Nashville, I twisted my ankle if you guys saw the vlog. But yeah, it's still like is kind of uncomfortable like on one side of the bottom of my foot. So like just walking on a flat shoe for a long period of time is not it for me. <laughs> so next time I need to bring some flexible shoes. Let's see. I'm at 7,666 steps for today, so I still need a little bit under 3,000 steps to go for my 10k steps a day but I had a good workout and now I'm gonna get home eat something look what I come home to the most perfect doggies huh <laughs> are you licking all my sweat off he was taking a nap were you taking a nappies mr. sir Here is what I'm having for lunch, you guys. I made this um, chicken veggie soup yesterday for my boyfriend because he's sick, but this is like the perfect post-workout meal, I feel, because it has chicken, veggies, it has zucchini, um, carrots, celery, tomato, onion, a little bit of everything, so really yummy and i've actually shown you guys the recipe to this in a previous vlog so i'll link it for you guys if you're interested in knowing how i make this and so you can try it yourself it's a while later now it's almost 7 p.m and we decided to go on a little family outing and go have dinner at shake shack my boyfriend's feeling a lot better so he's craving a shake shack bur burger i i brought it up i was like how does shake shack sound to you and he's like yeah i think that's what i need so why are you crying he's coming back um so we're gonna go have shake shack and we brought our dog with us because they have outdoor seating um and i haven't taken him out since the day before yesterday but yeah my boyfriend just went inside to go grab this new seat belt buckle that we got for him that attaches to a harness so he can sit in the back seat and not be in the front with us all the time because he moves around too much and he just needs to learn how to sit by himself back there so he went to go grab that and we're going to test it out and see if it works Thank you. 